for today's cup of coffee. <laughs> We've had the youngest kid has had to fight cats just to get them to where we could record. And he who was just, this is my arm of the couch. And I'm like, oh, hell no, that's my seat. <laughs> and grips onto it. He does. He like full on like arms spread out, claws in it. Yeah. Gripped. Yeah. Death grip. He would rather die than give up his spot. It's not his spot. It's my spot. So, we're not just talking about a what the fuck file. We are living a what the fuck file. The poor man is old. The poor man is dying. The poor man is hurting. He had his spot. He did. You got your camera back no, in no, his spot. No, that no. Was, that was only after he had gotten over here on the arm of the couch. So well, it wasn't there did. initially. That's where he perched anyway. But not while we're recording. We didn't use to record. Yes. And he perched this is, over this there has all the time. been my spot as far as the recordings for quite a while now. Yeah. Anyhow. But, but this has been your spot, period. Yeah, for 20 some years. <laughs> yeah. And he whose spot has always been on this arm well i was still here first yes i was here first to our cup to our story <clears throat> from daily mail this is james gordon december the 20th of 2022 it's just not something you're going to hear about all the time or at least i hope you're not a human heart has been uncovered among piles of salt at a Tennessee Department of Transportation what? facility. Workers at the facility in McEwen, west of Nashville, were okay. making preparations for inclement weather on Thursday when they came across something unusual that was later confirmed to be a human heart. And that was stated by Humphreys County Sheriff Chris Davis. The, the foot? Yeah. That's why the, dry, the this foot, is like, the what human the heart. Mm -hmm. They dry in that the heart, <laughs> heart jerky. That's what I thought. They dry in that thing out. The organ was transported. They got it wet. That's what happened. <laughs> it got the shorts. <laughs> the organ was transported to the state medical the examiner's in office in Nashville for testing of tissue samples confirmed that it was an adult male heart. And that it had been dehydrated by the salt. Well, that's what salt does. And that it was unclear how long it had been there. And so Sheriff Davis had told WKRN in Nashville that the facility was being treated as a crime scene. No shit. No shit. You f Oh, there's a part in here. <laughs> Someone missing a heart. And Davis stated, quote, I've been on some crazy stuff, by, but this is by far one of the most unusual crime scenes Ten I've man. ever been on, end quote. Ten man. You know, you know, that's what we could have done. We could have called the ten man, and it's like, buddy, we finally you found good, your dude. order. You good, dude. <laughs> you got it, and then you lost it again. Oh, it says he encouraged anyone who thinks they might have information about what might have happened to reach out to TBI or the sheriff's office. And David further stated, quote, Everybody's somebody's somebody. And at the end of the day, it would bother me if I laid down my head at night not knowing that we've done everything we can for this person and this person's family. I've got 32 years in law enforcement. I do have to say this is probably in the top five of the most bizarre things that I've ever seen. What's the other four? It makes you wonder. At this time, we don't feel that anybody's safety is in question. I have found, uh, it was found in the site where TDOT is preparing to attack the bad weather, severe weather conditions that we have. At first, they thought it was a rock. The process of what salt does to that, it dries it out. It's speculated that it could have been there for just a few weeks. TDOT's oh, on board fresh. working with us to try and find any kind of information about where the salt came from and when it came in, end quote. Who cares about the salt? What about the heart? Where'd that come well, that, from? The reason about the salt is to find out, you know, 
as far as if they find out when the salt was dumped there, that could give them a tr- time frame as to how long the heart had been in the salt. Mm. And no other remains were found at the facility after crews sifted through the salt barn. So that is definitely a what the fuck file. Yeah. <sighs> There's a lot of heartless people out there. Could have belonged to anybody. Right? <laughs> the Grinch. Absolutely. The Grinch's heart. It could have been the Grinch's heart. But that is a very bizarre thing, and it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder many things. Was this a ritualistic killing? I've, you know, that, that was a thought that popped in my head. I was like, hmm, somebody doing witchcraft, and they just stuffed that, they just found that place and just stuffed it in there? It could have been. I mean, who knows? Somebody, can you imagine who and and what kind of an individual it would take to cut out somebody's heart? Man, that's some dark shit right there. Yeah. That it is some dark shit. That's some shit that you don't fuck with. You don't fuck with that. And yeah. I mean, it Stick wasn't to playing with the sticks and the tw- <laughs> sticks and the rocks. That's yeah, it. Yeah. It wasn't just tossed onto it. Apparently, it must have been buried in it or something. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. That's just... I mean, what do you even say about some of these what-the-fuck files? It's just like, damn. Yeah. Who the, who the fuck got a heart stuffed in here? Yeah. I mean, can you imagine these the work crew of going, oh, shit. It's like, what is that? I would have literally been like, oh, who got a heart in here? Well, you know, and they the fact that they thought it was a rock. Who stuffed it in here? I can understand well, yeah, that. It was a dried out thing. Yeah, and then they go so and they pick up the dried moisture. up thing and they they find that, out they it's did a that, human heart. They did that because of the smell. No, I'd say that the salt, that there was no odor left on it. Because salt no, will get no rid shit, of some of that. No that's what I'm saying. Oh, well, you know. Because the rotting meat. Yeah. That's a bad smell. So salt. It's salt cured. It was salt cured. Yeah. Salt cured. You cured. 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 At Mountain's Peak. Salt it's cured. It's a salt cured. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. And it was 100% human? Uh-huh. Hmm. And as as far as that they could tell like that it was a man's heart, there's differences. I was like, if it's like an animal heart, that, yeah, 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 no. that's still weird. That's it fucked would up, be weird, but yeah. But it's different. Totally different. Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh. Yeah. And it was where he had presented the queen with a, you know, the heart that was a deer. And then he had told them that it was Snow White. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. There's a lot of people that would like to cut somebody's heart out. <clears throat> this one did it literally somewhere. Nope. And I'm sure that they, they have. They ain't going to have a Valentine this year. No. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, God. This I'm is good. some dark shit. It is. And that's the reason you you have to have some dark shit. Talk about last about Christmas. It. They gave them their heart. <laughs> And then they just gave it away. (laughs) There's all kinds of really bad jokes that I'm trying to hold back. Hold back on that. Hell no, let them fly up. Heart in a jar. (laughs) I don't get that one. It was a song. Collecting your jar of hearts. Uh, Yeah. So that would be a hell of a thing, you know, here dude, just minding his own business, and then have to call the police, police show up, you know that they had, they were joking about this, I had to, but I will say that the sheriff, his comment was very kind and very professional, and so kudos to him. Yeah. And that was, I think it was Sheriff Davis. Yes, Chris Davis in Humphreys County. So, yeah, he has a heart. Yes. (laughs) 
we needed your brother in on this one. It would have been this constant roll of these things. <laughs> yes. We need to redo this one. Literally re-record this one at some point with him. Oh. Yeah. It would just... <laughs> the drollness. The drollness. Because he has a dry sense of humor. Salt joke. Salt joke. <laughs> dry. <laughs> yeah. You, it's like you... You're dropped out in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Mm-hmm. He got the personality of one grit. <laughs> and he is he is he hilarious. Yeah, he, he does. Really, and he'll just say something, and it'll take you a couple of seconds, and it's like, oh, God. And he'll just sit there and look at you and wait for it, for, for you to process. Yeah. But sometimes it'll fly over your head and it'll be, leave you be like, what? I'm, I'm like that quite often. <laughs> but nah, his, no, he's, like, he's got a good personality. He, he really does. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. You're a good kid. I'm proud of my kids. I truly am. Oh. So, for all my faults, I did a couple of things. All right. We proud of you. <laughs> it's because it's the weird mama. Because I, y'all didn't get to have the boring soccer mom, mama. I, either way, whatever how things turned out, I'm proud of both my parents. No, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You a good kid. Final thoughts on this dehydrated, missing heart. D- who the fuck lost their heart? <laughs> <laughs> This is just, it kind of leaves you speechless. It really does. Other than bad puns. Uh, that, that. There will be no way. They, they might this be able to. This is why you gotta to... be cold hearted. <laughs> cold black heart. Yeah. There is no way, conceivably, that they are going to catch whoever did this. No. And I'd say it's going to be very difficult to find who this you know, organ belong to. Oh, yeah. Unless they do, like, a DNA test. Right. Right. If it was maybe a DNA that was on record or something like that, that would be rough. It would have to be. How is stuff not on record already? Uh, It already. probably is. Probably all of our DNA is somewhere classified and cataloged. But Yeah, it has to be. But it's not supposed to be. It's not. There are certain people, if, if somebody is convicted of a crime, their DNA is on record automatically. It does not matter what they do. They have no choice but to submit their DNA. Which is wrong. Why? For what reason? doesn't matter. If you in there for shoplifting, they will collect your DNA. I'm yep. good. Yeah. That's one of the things, like those 23andMe and stuff like that, that's collecting people's DNA. Which was why I refused. I'm like, no, no, no. Mm. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? So you done? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. <coughs> you see, now you've messed me up because you did your part before. Yes. <laughs> if you've had experiences with the paranormal supernatural encounters with ufos aliens cryptids missing body parts that has been found randomly send us an email cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com email address and the link to the article will be in the description box yeah he got me messed up it's just like <laughs> when i go through walmart i have to have that routine what or routine <laughs> What what routine? The flight of the a bumblebee. fly. <laughs> the flight of the bumblebee. That is my routine. But I know the path that I must travel. So there you go. <laughs> know that you're loved. She's she's what? She's ADHD. They know this. You travel like a flea. You bounce all over the place. <laughs> That's with the medication. I need to ask about them. You need to get a higher dosage. <laughs> It's all Up good. Back. It is all good. You all are loved. We appreciate you. 
don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Yes. And we'll see you on the next cup. Bye. Bye.